her report on the election news, and she has a little whipsaw in there. See if you can spot it. This is on ABC. When this recount is done, do you expect the results to change significantly? No. You expect Joe Biden to be the winner. Fair and square. Fair and square. Graham categorically <laughs> denies he tried to pressure his fellow Republican into doing anything inappropriate. I want to make sure that we're taking the precautions necessary to validate signatures like we do if you show up on election day. On Capitol Hill today, Senator Kamala Harris back on the Senate floor for the first time since becoming vice president-elect, congratulated by her colleagues, including some Republicans. Lindsey Graham right there greeting her with a fist bump. All right, so let's get to Mary. She's with us live tonight from Washington. We know Senate Republican Leader Mitch McConnell telling reporters today that there will be an orderly transition from this administration to the next one. That was significant from the majority leader. But in the meantime, Mary, we know there's also breaking news tonight about the Senate's uh, longest-serving Republican, Senator Chuck Grassley of Iowa, announcing he's tested positive for coronavirus. And David, the 87-year-old tonight says he is feeling fine, but that he is following his doctor's orders and is in quarantine. Grassley's absence from the Hill today, though, was notable. David, it was the first time he's missed a vote in 27 years. David, we wish him a swift recovery. Obra, I did not hear the whipsaw. I, I was the uh, whipsaw is right at the beginning where she says Lindsey Graham says he didn't pressure the guy, and then they cut to a clip of Lindsey Graham in a mask. Uh, talking about something completely different. It had nothing to do with anything. Yeah. So. Yep. You missed it. No, I did. I, I tried to.